Hi everyone and happy spring. I am so excited that spring is finally here. There are flowers outside blooming. There is life coming back and the weather is feeling so much better. But when I think of spring, I also think about fresh starts, resetting, and of course, cleaning and decluttering. I have such a long to-do list of so much decluttering I wanna get done, home projects, and I thought that I would take you guys along with me to work along with me as you tackle your to-do list as well. But today we are going to be doing kids clothing decluttering. It has been about seven months since I have decluttered the kids clothes. And let me tell you, it is quite the mess right now. There are drawers shoved full of clothes that they don't wear, things that are stained, things that don't fit. And the fact that we've accumulated so much stuff over the course of seven months, because I did have their closet minimized pretty well back in September. And for it to be this chaotic now is beyond me. But we did have Christmas and their birthdays and I'm still struggling with impulse spending here and there a little bit. I'm working on it. So it's time to clean out the closet or in this case the drawers and get it manageable, get rid of the excess stuff that they don't wear, things that are stained and see if they need anything new um, for spring weather, we live in a climate where there are four different seasons. So having just like an all around capsule wardrobe really isn't in the game. All right, so we are gonna be starting my oldest daughter's room. She is age seven. She has so many clothes that she's outgrown. For this declutter, I am gonna be making four different piles actually. I'm gonna be making a keep pile, a save for my younger daughter pile, a donate pile and a recycle pile. So we're gonna have a bunch of piles going on. Um, I like to recycle things through Terra Cycles so that way it can get repurposed and reused. And then I also just donate things to Goodwill. And then I like to save things for my younger daughter who is age three so that way, you know, it saves on costs and it's more resourceful. So let me show you the current drawer situation um, and what we're gonna be dealing with here. All right, so this is what we're dealing with. The drawers are just overflowing with clothes at this point and they are not organized at all. So finding anything is very frustrating because they're not organized and put away neatly and they definitely have too much stuff. So I'm going to go through and minimize stuff today. Okay, so let's start pulling the clothes out of the drawers and putting them into piles. I have a big old navy bag that I'm going to use for the donates and then I also have a small box that I'm going to be putting the stuff that I want to recycle aside. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done, oh the good times just begun. I love this little dress, but it is so uncomfortable. The fabric is really scratchy. I think it's polyester. It's definitely a synthetic fabric, and it seems to really bother their skin. Um, I've been trying to become more intentional with the kind of fabrics that I buy for myself and the kids, leaning more towards, like, cotton and linens and bamboo-type fabrics and trying to stay away from, like, the, um, the polyesters and stuff because I have noticed skin irritation, and I just don't think it's that sustainable for the environment and I don't think it's good because polyester is actually a type of plastic so to me wearing plastic on your skin all day when your skin's trying to breathe it just isn't healthy to have that on our bodies so I like fabrics that breathe and are more loving to the skin so this is cute and all but this definitely has to go 
Okay, so the decluttering for my daughter's room is all done. It did not take long at all. That's the one thing that I do love about decluttering and stuff. This thing is heavy, trying to hold this up. Anyway, that's the one thing that I love about decluttering is it becomes so easy the more you do it. You just go through it just like that because you get so much better at just like making really quick decisions and it doesn't feel like this big, long, draining process. But I'll show you what we're keeping, what I'm donating, and the different piles that we have. So this is what I have so far for um, recycle. This is all stuff that's either really worn or stained, things that I just don't think can be reused or repurposed for other children. This is the stuff. Why is this in here? This was supposed to go in the For Faith pile. Making decluttering errors here. This is the stuff that we're going to be donating. Things that I don't think Faith will wear. And just things that, I don't know, they just don't like. And this, it's actually a really small pile. She really doesn't have a whole lot of clothes now. Just a few shirts, some pants, um, a few dresses, and then she has like dance stuff. Okay, so you remember the before of the drawers. I'm going to show you how it's looking now that we're done. It looks so much better, you guys. And here is the after. Everything is neatly organized. Everything fits in here. It is so much better. Although I must say that this is her pajamas, like her actual official pajamas. She has one thing in pajamas, so add that to my to-do list just to get her some new pajamas. And this is like rompers and dresses in here. So I'm pretty happy with the amount of stuff she has for now. Okay, so let's move over across the hall to Faith's room and go declutter her room. Okay, so Faith's room, age three, same situation. Drawers are overflowing, unorganized. We have some work to do. Okay, so Faith's room, it's gonna be the same thing, except it's only gonna be three piles opposed to four. I'm gonna do donate, keep, and recycle because I'm not gonna be saving anything for a younger child. So I don't need to have that extra stuff set aside to save. So, without further ado, let's get to work. Okay, so something I've been noticing is I've been getting them some clothes from like Old Navy now for mm, about a year or so. And this is 100% cotton. And it piles really bad, even though it's cotton. I just don't think it's the best quality. Granted, this shirt was like $6 at Old Navy. But yeah, I think I'm going to start investing more money into better quality stuff because a lot of this stuff isn't even stained necessarily. It's just very worn looking and it just looks really old and dingy, even with separating colors and laying flat to dry or just tumble drying on low heat. It's just not holding up very well, so I definitely need to do some more research and try to find some brands that have better quality children's clothes but still a reasonable price because I don't want to spend a bunch of money on clothes because kids do stain them and grow out of them so quickly. I don't even really spend a bunch of money on my own clothes because it's kind of like the same thing. I go through clothes pretty quickly because I do stain them because I'm busy. I don't have an office desk type job. I'm working with my hands a lot. So for me to invest in really expensive clothes for myself and my kids just isn't really feasible for me, at least with our lifestyle right now. 
So yeah, if you have a kids clothing brand that you love that has good fabric and washes and wears well, leave them down in the comments because I would love to know. Okay, so I just finished putting everything away and sorting through all the stuff. Let me show you what the drawers look like now, and then I'll show you the stuff that is getting donated and recycled. Okay, so this is what the drawers look like now. So much better. You can actually see what you're looking for. I got shorts, pants, more shorts, which really I should have just switched them around so it made more sense. You get the idea. And then shirts, categorized, tank tops, long sleeve, t-shirts. And then down here is her little dress drawer. And then that in the old navy bags, that stuff that is going to be getting donated to Goodwill. And this is the box that's going to be getting recycled through TerraCycle. I'll link them down below. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that it was inspirational to you. If it's someone to like hang out with and declutter with, I've always really liked watching just like vlogs and like things that help inspire me to be productive. That's really the purpose of this video. So I hope that it does inspire you to go declutter and know that it doesn't have to be super hard. The more you do it, the quicker it'll go, the easier the process will get. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Take care you guys. Bye.